Today, we're going to talk about ChatGPT and how it can help you 10x your coding skill starting today. So let's just now define what is ChatGPT. ChatGPT is a natural processing language AI that basically you can ask questions and will respond with a specific answers that will help you out. Before going into what I'm going to show you, the first thing that you need to do is sign up for an account with ChatGPT. I'm going to leave a link here at the description of the video that will help you out how to create that account. It is free. You don't have to pay for anything right now. So you can just go ahead and sign up and then so you can follow the exercises that I'm going to show you in this video. So the first thing that I want to show you on how ChatGPT can help you with your coding skills is that it can help with autocomplete and how to create code for you and give you snippets. So let's go ahead and let me show you. So right now I'm here in ChatGPT. I'm right now using model 3.5, but you can use GPT-4 if you wanted to. But the first thing that I use ChatGPT very frequently and almost every day is to give me snippets that I might. So let's say, for example, I want to, let's say, create a JavaScript a split and loop, for example, and here's going to show me. So I'm basically just asking how you would go and do a split of an array in JavaScript and how you can loop about that. This is amazing for ChatGPT. So it's actually giving me the answer and it's giving me the actual code that I can use for doing that splitting and then doing a loop for the array right and i don't have to go and start searching for that and looking for answers all over the internet on how to do this it's just giving me right there the code that i need to use so now let's go ahead and let's also use it for css for cascading style sheets for styling elements in html for example i can do something like show me how to color a div using css for example and then it's gonna go ahead and same idea like in the other one and it's gonna show me the code of how I can do that. And here is how I can do the background color and how even can I apply it into the HTML itself. So this is amazing. It's showing me everything that I need to do to color that div. So again, it, it would save me time doing that. So now let's go a little bit further and let's do something like to actually create a code outer function from scratch. So let's say for example that create a C sharp function to check if a number is prime. So let's go ahead and let's see how it does. And there you go. Now it's creating a C sharp function that it will actually check if a number is prime. So this is amazing because it's actually generating the algorithm that I need to use to check if a number is prime. So that's the first thing that I would recommend that you try using ChatGPT for. It's to actually generate code and help you out with completing snippets of code that will help you in your coding. The second thing you can use ChatGPT when coding is to do debugging. So debugging is going through your code and checking if it's actually going to work and if it makes sense. So guess what? ChatGPT can also help you out with that and you don't have to waste time maybe in your actual code debugging and looking for what the error is. You can just let ChatGPT show you where is the error. So let me show you how it works. So right now I'm here in that last prime function that it generated for me. And I wanna, what I'm going to do now with ChatGPT is that I'm going to take this code and let him actually debug it. So let's go ahead and see how this works. So I'm gonna go here and say a new chat, and I'm gonna say debug the C sharp code, the C sharp code below, where the number is five. And let's put the code here, and let's send it, and let's see how. So it's actually checking what the code does. So it's saying, it's saying that it will check if my number is a prime. And now it's actually debugging the code here. So the output should be five is prime, the output is correct, then the code is working as expected. So it actually went through the code, ran it with the value that I created. 
and it's actually telling me if it works. So let's ask a follow-up question now and say, debug it again with the number value of nine. And let's see. Let's see, same idea is going through my code with a value of nine. And if it is checking, if it actually works. So let's see what it will say. So it's going through those iterations. It's not prime. There you go. It's even giving me suggestions. So this is amazing too. So it actually went ahead, debugged my code, and it showed me if it's actually working. And it's working. So this is amazing. The other thing you can use ChatGPT for is to actually refactor code. And refactoring means it can take your code and make it simpler to use or simpler to see and to read. And it can even optimize some code that maybe there's some things that you can use. To be honest, I use ChatGPT for refactoring sometimes. It's not the best thing for refactoring. I think there's a lot that can be done later after it. But let me show you how it works. So here I have this code. And what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna tell ChatGPT to refactor it and let's see what it does. So let's see, right. refactor the C sharp code below. I'm gonna add my code in here. Let's send it. And it's actually gonna give me a refactor version of the code. So it's actually giving me this, change some of the variables. And here now is what it's gonna do. It's gonna explain to me how it refactored the code, what it changed and why it is better this way. So you can see that it changed these properties to read only because they were already in the constructor here and it did some other changes. For me, this is good, right? Because I had very little room for improvement at the beginning. But now after the code is done, I can see that there's a lot of things that I can still do to refactor this code and make it better. But I mean, it's one step there. You can still use it to help you out. Even if you're learning just about refactoring, I think this will help you out. The other option that I would use on ChatGPT for too is for learning because I can do a specific questions about languages, even languages that I don't know how to use. I can ask those questions to judge ChatGPT and then I can learn how it does it. And then at the same time, I am learning. Or maybe I'm just taking a course online and it's asking something or saying something that I don't understand. I can just go back to ChatGPT and ask him about how to do this or how to do that in a specific coding. So let's say, for example, I don't know how to code in Python and I wanna ask some questions around Python. So let's see what I can do. So here I'm back on my on my previous history for ChatGPT. And remember that, that it created for C Sharp to create, to check if a, a number is prime so i want to do the same but i want to check it if it is how they can do it in python and let's assume maybe that i don't know how to code python and what i'm gonna do is just create a new chat chat and do the same thing and say create a python to check if a number is prime and then here you go pretending that i'm learning python then it's actually going to show me how to create that prime function in python and then i can take this code and compare it with the other code and see what's the difference between the two and learn. And the nice thing that I always find about ChatGPT with this is that it gives you a brief explanation and it's even doing commenting in the code that is actually showing comments in there, explaining what it's doing. Like, I mean, this is great, right? I'm learning, I'm learning Python. And there you go, it's showing me all of these comments in there in the future function. So I can actually see what it's doing in the code. I mean. It's like having a pal, it's like having a friend and just asking that friend how to do something and it's actually speeding up for you. And the great thing about this is that it's all free. You can just sign up for an account and start asking questions. So the other tip that I use ChatGPT for is for Bob's question. And DevOps, I mean how to do commands for specific applications. So think about if I'm using SQL and I need to do an SQL for a specific table. Or I'm using a Redis cache to do something. I need to know a command or Git maybe. I can do that in ChatGPT. Ask how to do a specific thing in a platform and it will show me the command and how to do it. So let me show you. So let's go ahead and let's now create a new chat and let's say, how do I search for a specific key in Reddit? Let me see. 
search for it. It's, there you go. So it's, it's telling me to use the keys command and to search for a specific pattern. And now it's showing me how to use the keys command here and with the asterisk so I can sh look for that key. So let's do a follow up question and let's say after finding the key, how do I delete it? To delete a specific key in Redis, I'm gonna use the del command and with the actual key and then it will delete that. This can show me even how to delete multiple. So there you go. So this is amazing. How much it would have taken me to go into Google and start searching for that information? Right now, in just a couple of seconds, it's just telling me how to do it. So let's try something else. And let's see in Git. So let's say, how do I revert a previous, there you go to use the git revert command. This is the git revert command and it will revert a previous commit. There you go. And it's showing me what is the commit, what is the command, how we'll do it. And there you go. So this is, this is amazing too, right? There you go. And it's showing me all the information. Very quick, a few seconds and you're done. So thanks for staying until the end. Now I show you different techniques on how you can use ChatGPT to 10x your coding productivity today. This tool is amazing. Like I said, it's just having like having a friend, having a pal, and you can ask a quick question. I will show you how to do that and how it can help you out. So I think these tips we can help you out today. So start using them. It's free, like I said, just sign up for an account and get going. Remember to subscribe so you can get more videos about productivity and development. Bye.